So, the iPhone 7 Plus. So I've been using this device for uh, almost three months right now and um, it's been a long, long time. In order for me to give you my honest review about uh, this amazing smartphone. I just want to say from the beginning of this video that uh, the things that I'm going to say in this video are uh, mainly my personal opinions about this device, about the usage that I've uh, made throughout uh, these three months. And uh, you may agree or disagree with uh, the things that I'm going to say, but uh, for what it matters, do uh, take notice that uh, this is a review made by someone who used the device for three months someone who paid for the device from his own pocket so I'm not sponsored and uh, none of my videos that you see on this channel are sponsored in any way by um, any tech uh, company having said that uh, let's start with the iPhone 7 Plus and why I consider this device to be the best smartphone that came on the market in uh, 2016 but also the best smartphone of the year so starting uh, with the design as you can already see nothing uh, has really changed uh, about the iPhone uh, 7 Plus compared to the older generations um, for the exception of uh, the color and you can see this uh, beautiful uh, black mate and also the antenna bands are now hidden in the chassis above and um, right here as you can see it very beautiful very clean design the device is made out of uh, aluminum the 7000 series uh, very strong uh, very hard to bend and um, I have to say that it does feel in the hand like a very premium device and uh, this is nothing new when we are talking about Apple products another change on the back of the device is of course the dual lens camera setup we have a 28 and a 56 millimeter um, camera great 12 megapixel in uh, resolution great camera I would actually dare to say that this is also the best camera on the market right now and um, trust me I've tested this uh, camera very very intensive um, you can go uh, to my channel and check out for my uh, Central Europe uh, vlog videos and all the pictures taken and videos taken in uh, those videos are made solely with uh, the iPhone 7 Plus so if you want to see samples, both video and stills, check out uh, those videos, Central Europe Vlog. Um, on the front, another uh, major change for the iPhone is the 7 megapixel uh, 1080p capable camera. And um, I have to say that I'm not uh, actually impressed with this uh, selfie camera, but uh, I don't usually take too many selfies. And of course, the biggest change in terms of uh, not only design but uh, mainly in terms of uh, usability is the home button which now features uh, 3d touch uh, technology also just like the display and uh, compared to the previous generations it works absolutely amazing uh, mainly because the device uh, has inside it right now a uh, taptic engine that simulates the um, pressing of a uh, physical button only that uh, this time around you don't have a physical button it's uh, simply embedded in the glass um, and the display and it works perfectly uh, using this and going back to an uh, iphone 6s plus if you want um, it feels like going to the middle ages and of course the biggest change uh, that everyone talked and ranted about uh, on the iphone was the missing 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is gone uh, mainly because Apple decided to be courageous go figure it out and uh, I have to say that I'm not bothered by the lack of a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack mainly because you get in the box an um, adapter for your headphones and 
I use that one whenever I feel uh, the need to, to listen to some music or to have some, uh, some quiet times. This is how it looks, so I already have my uh, Sennheiser CX300 uh, in-ear headphones plugged in, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, I don't know why people complain so much about it, I actually really don't care that much. The display remains the same, 5.5 uh, inches in diagonal, 1080p uh, Full HD resolution with uh, 401 ppi, that is uh, pixel per inch uh, density and uh, this time around it sports a white color gamut uh, display which Apple says improves the um, display uh, accuracy in rendering colors by 25% compared to the previous generations. Uh, long story short, go out and uh, check uh, displaymate.com. Displaymate.com uh, made uh, a lot of uh, extensive tests on the display of the iPhone 7 Plus and they said that this is the best display, the best LCD IPS display on the market. Uh, nothing comes close to, to this um, display that uh, the iPhone 7 Plus uh, sports. So uh, everything in terms of contrast, colors, uh, viewing angles and so on is considered by DisplayMate to be the best on the market when uh, considering LCD IPS uh, displays. I honestly don't think that um, it has anything um, that needs to be desired compared to AMOLED displays. I never liked AMOLED displays, so for me LCD is uh, just fine. But uh, if you do like uh, punchy colors and uh, higher contrast, then you can go uh, in the settings, go to general accessibility and turn on display accommodations and just uh, fiddle with uh, with uh, the button right there and um, pick how much color you want to, to show up on your display how much uh, more color better said so the display it's a very good uh, display and um, it does the job talking about uh, the insides of the smartphone we have a uh, the new A10 Fusion chip clocked at uh, 2.23 gigahertz and this is the first time that Apple puts a quad-core CPU inside uh, their smartphones. We also have a 6-core GPU and uh, the performance of the device is simply amazing. Uh, anything you can throw at it, it will chew up and uh, you won't see any stutter, any lag, any freezing and so on. By the way, uh, ever since I uh, bought the device three months ago, um, because I'm enrolled in the Apple's uh, developer uh, program, I've been running on this device only beta software. Right now I'm running uh, iOS 10.2.1 beta 1 um, and I had no issues. I've seen a lot of people complaining on stable releases about the performance of the iPhone 7 Plus. This is not the case. I've been running beta software and I had no hiccups whatsoever, no bugs, um, no uh, crashes, no uh, restarts, no uh, nothing, no battery drain, no uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth signal problems and so on. So uh, the CPU and the GPU inside um, simply destroy the competition. Uh, currently is the best CPU on the market. And uh, every benchmark you can throw at it, it will chew it up and it will spit it out. Um, no Android competitor can match up um, the power, the speed and the fluidity of what uh, the A10 Fusion uh, chipset inside the iPhone 7 Plus uh, does to this phone. iOS 10 also helps a lot uh, because it has improved and um, everything runs smooth. I had no issues. I had no, absolutely no issues since I uh, first uh, opened the box of the, of the phone when it uh, first arrived. So everything runs smooth, apps run uh, fast, 
I had no problems. Multitasking works uh, very good. And as I said, the CPU and the GPU is one thing, but we also have uh, three gigabytes of RAM on the iPhone 7 Plus, only two gigabytes on the regular iPhone 7. And those three gigabytes of RAM help a lot with um, the ecosystem and the um, power that the CPU and the GPU renders. Um, also, we have uh, a 2900 milliamp power battery inside. And uh, I know that Apple promised uh, that it will last uh, two hours longer than um, the older generation, the iPhone 6s Plus. Um, Truth be told, it doesn't last uh, two hours longer, it only lasts uh, one and a half hour longer. But uh, battery times uh, that I get with this smartphone are simply impressive. If you are subscribed to my channel, you already know that I'm using uh, at the same time the Huawei Nexus 6P. And um, I've been using it at the same time with the iPhone 7 Plus as my secondary phone. And in terms of battery life, uh, the iPhone 7 Plus uh, simply destroys everything that Android has to put on the market. The Nexus 6P has a uh, 3450 milliamp hour battery. Has a 3450 milliamp hour battery inside, while the iPhone 7 Plus has a 2900 milliamp hour battery inside. And considering the higher capacity of the Nexus 6P, the iPhone 7 Plus uh, destroys it. I get usually with the iPhone 7 Plus eight and a half to nine hours of screen on time on a single charge. And if I use uh, low power mode, then I would get uh, 10 to 11 hours of screen on time. Uh, with the Huawei Nexus uh, 6P, because that's my main uh, smartphone to compare it to, I get uh, somewhere from uh, five and a half to six hours and a half of screen on time at best. So um, although although it has a uh, smaller capacity inside the iPhone 7 Plus uh, features greater battery life than any other Android smartphone on the market. It has a better battery life than uh, the previous generation of uh, iPhones and uh, for me at least this is one of the biggest uh, pluses that uh, this smartphone uh, has to offer. Mainly because I'm a uh, power user, I'm uh, always uh, traveling, I'm always uh, doing something, I'm always connected with the world, um, with uh, the work, uh, with my family and so on. So I do need a device that provides me with excellent battery life. So in this respect, I'm gonna say it again, the iPhone 7 Plus is simply the, base, uh, the best uh, smartphone on the market. Another um, new feature for the iPhone 7 Plus and uh, for Apple in general is the fact that uh, now the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus uh, is uh, IP67 uh, certified, which means uh, dust and water resistance. Uh, be warned though that um, if you damage your smartphone by um, by water, Apple won't uh, acknowledge uh, the fact that uh, the device that they built um, it's up for uh, for replacement. Um, okay, some shady uh, business tactics uh, by Apple, but uh, we already know how uh, how they work. This is a must-have feature for me, if you, if you ask me at least, because I do usually use my smartphones, especially in the summer when I go to, I don't know, to the pool, to the seaside and so on. Um, I do use them to, to film underwater uh, videos and I do tend to use them in the water also or close to the water. So having IP57 certification it's a must-have for me and it's a must-have nowadays if you ask me if you want to consider yourself a uh, flagship device some other new things that um, are worth mentioning are now the stereo speakers this time around 
Apple went uh, the HTC way and uh, they put uh, one speaker in the earpiece and the other one uh, where we would usually find it on any single um, iPhone. And I have to say that uh, although in the keynote uh, they said that um, the sound is twice as uh, louder than the previous gen, this is not uh, actually true. It is louder and the sound is amazing. Um, the sound is very well balanced, a very good uh, volume, very good bass, uh, very good mids and highs also coming from uh, from these speakers and um, it's a great experience especially if you are like me and you watch a lot of uh, YouTube videos uh, I don't know maybe you watch uh, some online uh, videos and uh, so on it's excellent for multimedia and talking about sound again but this time in the earpiece um, excellent call quality no problems um, I can hear very well and this was a problem for me with uh, the iPhone uh, 6s Plus, if you recall my, uh, my review. I did say that I think that uh, the earpiece is um, a bit uh, low on volume. Not this time around, happy to report that uh, things are better. And um, still, I would prefer them to, to be even louder on the earpiece. Only because I got uh, used a lot with uh, the call quality and uh, earpiece quality on uh, Sony devices, but not only Sony. Um, in terms of uh, music uh, listening, the audio quality is excellent. Although we don't have the 3.5 mm headphone jack, and uh, we get an adapter for that. Um, when you listen to music, uh, the quality is excellent. It's up there with Sony devices in terms of uh, audio quality in the headphones, if you want. I usually use uh, in-ear headphones mainly because um, I do tend sometimes to go to sleep and it's easier for me to go to sleep with uh, in-ear headphones. But I do also have uh, over-ear headphones or on-ear headphones and I tested them all with um, the iPhone 7 Plus and I'm happy to, to tell you that it's one of the best experience um, that I've uh, encountered on the market on a uh, smartphone. Still, my number one choice for music listening uh, is Sony with uh, their lineup, but uh, that's a different story. What matters, and at least to me, is that the, it's, uh, that the audio quality is far better than what you get on Samsung devices or, uh, I don't know, LG for example. What else there is to say about the iPhone 7 Plus besides the price? Uh, well, I paid for mine when I bought it 950 euros and this is the 32 gigabyte uh, variant. I decided to buy the 32 gigabyte uh, variant mainly because um, I don't usually install a lot of things on my device. I don't usually install a lot of uh, games. I don't play games on my uh, on my smartphones. Uh, maybe some casual games. Uh, I don't know, like uh, Super Mario Run that uh, just got launched on uh, the App Store. Um, but I do take a lot of pictures and I do take a lot of videos with uh, with my smartphones. Um, still, 32 gigabytes may seem uh, a bit low, but out of uh, those 32 gigabytes, you get uh, something around 27 gigabytes uh, free space for the user. I do take photos, I do take videos, but I also use uh, Google Photos, and I usually uh, back up my uh, my photos and sync them with my Google Drive. And uh, after the sync is done, I usually delete the photos uh, and the videos on my device. So no need for me to, to get a higher uh, capacity iPhone. So 32 gigabytes is enough nowadays. Maybe not for everyone, but uh, for users like me who don't tend to install a lot of, uh, of stuff and uh, 
do organize their stuff, their photos, their music, uh, their videos and so on on uh, other platforms uh, is more than enough. But this, uh, this depends uh, mainly on your usage and uh, the way that you, you use uh, your device. Um, this pretty much does it for this video. As I said, these are my opinions uh, and only my opinions. And I consider that uh, this device so far from the experience that I had throughout the year with uh, all the devices that I owned, uh, no matter they were Sony, uh, LG, um, Google uh, Nexus and uh, so on, um, even iPhones, I do consider the iPhone 7 Plus to be the, the best one so far. The user satisfaction is uh, huge, the experience is great, iOS 10.2 is uh, simply amazing and it uh, catched up a lot in terms of uh, features. Uh, the camera experience is absolutely fantastic, uh, especially when using portrait mode. Um, I wouldn't say it's a uh, DSLR like uh, type of camera. But it certainly is the best one that features uh, a dual lens setup and um, the best one when it comes to processing the image, the final image if you want, and uh, the way that it uses those uh, lenses. I know Huawei did it on the P9 and others uh, did it before, but uh, none of them has managed to pull out the implementation that Apple did with the iPhone 7 Plus. I see a lot of people saying that if you own the iPhone 6s Plus, uh, there is no reason for you to, to upgrade to the 7 Plus and I have to say that this is a um, very, very misleading advice. You have a lot of reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 7 Plus if you are an iPhone user or um, especially if you love uh, Apple products. As you already know, I never was the biggest fan of iPhones, but uh, my mind got uh, changed, if you want, after using the iPhone 6s Plus with uh, iOS 10 Beta, and it impressed me a lot, uh, so much that I decided to make the switch from Android to iOS. So this phone right here is my main, uh, is my mainly driver. As I said, I do use Android devices uh, such as my Nexus 6P, which I really love and um, I love the camera of the Nexus 6P, but unfortunately um, it doesn't support the same battery life uh, like the iPhone 7 Plus and this is a bummer for me. If uh, it would have had uh, the battery life of the iPhone 7 Plus, then probably the Nexus 6P would still be my, mainly dri my daily driver. Um, but great devices both of them I still prefer the iPhone 7 Plus uh, because of the build quality because of the fingerprint sensor which is the best on the market um, because of the cameras and uh, the experience the speed the power that it provides and also, uh, although iOS is still uh, a pretty closed um, operating system, I do see a lot of good changes in the good direction. And um, I still hope that uh, Apple will release uh, some dark mode for uh, the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7. Okay, this does it. It's been a long vi video. Uh, hopefully, I didn't uh, bore you too much. These are my main reasons for which I uh, consider the iPhone 7 Plus to be a very great device and for which I encourage you to, to buy it. The price is steep, but uh, if you're willing to do the investment, then uh, I can s assure you that it will pay off. And the decrease in value is uh, not as um, big as with uh, any other Android smartphone. Thank you for watching this video, see you in the next one, until then, peace.